Welcome to another Team Solomon Circus live duel. This match is one I've been waiting to watch. We have Runic on the left as well as Labyrinth on the right. Both uh, both players are, you know, previous Sword Salt players. Um, you know, all we're missing is Valorant's here. So we're going to see, uh, you know, I think Runic is starting off. Not very good that they're starting off because, you know, you have to set traps. We see the Runic here summoning out a... Level 2, the wings, searching for the field spell here. By discarding a mystic mine. Searching for the runic fountain. The famous pa fountain pass here. Is that what's going to happen? We're going to see a... They have two set card, the cards they could set. We're going to see a cyber rally being normal summoned. Eisman the effects. Banishing both of them to draw two cards, and that's three cards I could set. We're gonna see two of them set in pat. We're gonna activate Stovey during the end, in the phase here. Discarding itself and the uh, the labyrinth, labyrinth. I think it's what it's called. The ultra rare from the set to set it itself. We're gonna see a draw for turn. After an extravagance here, I'm going to banish six for cost. I don't think the extra deck is very important in this deck. We're going to see a draw two, and here we're going to activate the. Uh, the alert here, you know, discarding a card in their hand. I'm milling a bunch, or banishing a bunch. We're not 50 fountain, you know, shuffling back three to draw three. So you know, I'm some of the labyrinth woman. The, I don't think she's, the, I think she's the main one. Maybe not the main big one. We're gonna see a effect negation. And then milling three cards. Gonna activate the fountain to summon out, and that looks like it's gonna go through here. Summoning out the the uh, the main monster of the deck, or the Outlitch F, you want to call it. You know, their boss monster. And here we're gonna see it being destroyed by flashing fire, and banishing the top two cards. We're going to see a, enter a battle phase here, taking the damage, setting two cards, and a pass. We're going to see activation, you know, destroying a spell and trap, and is it going to get flip face up here? Looks like he's debating. It's just going to go through, the through, go through, and then we're going to banish the top four. You know, Fountain, you know, being able to shuffle back three and then drawing three. Insane. Setting one card and passing turn. That doubles the cards in hand. I don't think that's really good. See a Compulse here and actually on the Fountain. And we're going to chain a Runic Tip here. Oh, they actually compulse their own monster. We're going to tip here. going to search for the uh, for the spell, and Stove is going to activate, summoning itself out. Big a nice little wall of defense here. We're going to see a normal summon. And being able to add that, or set it directly here, normal summoning it. We're gonna see the uh, negation here, protecting it. We're gonna see the field spell being special or ad added here or placed. It's gonna get set. We want to a mill three or banish three, not mill. I keep saying ban, keep saying mill, but it's not it. It's a deck out style. We want to pop the spell and trap. It's going to go through, and then we're going to see a. Banishing of top three. 
does not look too good. Fountain, you know, return three, draw three. That deck is looking pretty thin. Could activate the, uh, their own um, castle, I believe. We do see an, there can only be one as well as another trap. But you got to leave one space in the uh, zone. I see a Mystic Mind game. Setting a final card and passing. You know, you don't need to keep a zone clear if you know you're going to... Uh, going to be using Mystic Mind. We're going to see, a, you know set and swap a set here from jason as well as you know set five from thomas over here graphically the ghastly and ghoul i believe that's an out to mine by sending a fiend to the graveyard here blackjack can activate if it choosing to i don't think are chaining the effects here Gotta be careful because that tech is looking pretty thin. And here we're gonna look at the top three. I'm gonna put back what we need. Switch to attack position. And then be able to attack. We're gonna activate metaverse. Is that going to get a Mystic Mine on the field? It's going to get a Fountain here. Being able to activate the effects, though. You know, activating the... The, uh, the summon out the... Um, most likely going to be the Fangs here, but it can be really any of them. Going for the uh, Munin, I believe. Torrential Tribute. There's no Judgment. Whoa! You're Judgmenting a Torrential Tribute with one monster on the field. See a set one and a pass. Gonna gain a thousand life points during the end phase here. Does not look too good. Now being able to draw, then uh, vanishing the top four. Shuffling back two to draw two. All they have to do is uh get one of the ones that either negates or pops and here we're gonna see a uh, a game two you know one card left in deck and they can't they can't beat them there so it, that is what it is going to game two here i definitely i don't like the runic some people you know one person commented on the channel saying how they liked watching runic gameplay I mean, it's definitely an interesting deck to watch. It's um fun, but it's also a lot. Like, I don't, I don't think anybody enjoys playing against it. Maybe the people like playing with it, which uh, you know, understandable. I think everyone loves every strategy at least a little bit. Um, I know some people who love still playing beat troopers, but I, I, I don't think beat troopers is a very good deck. Sorry to all you beat trooper players out there. Maybe all like four of you. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see some, uh, hopefully some better gameplay game two, you know, the trap deck is going to be able to go first, setting the traps, doing what they do best. And hopefully it's going to be, uh, going to be a good time. See two demise of the lands here uh, from the um, the runic player. We're gonna see a normal summon. I have the monster activating the effect, getting the uh, the trap. We're going to activate the effect of um, of the chandelier, discarding itself and the blackjack. Search for the field spell.
blackjack good old rearranging We're going to see a set, and it looks like it's going to be a pass. I don't even really understand how uh, how the stack really works, you know. I thought that you want to play a bunch of traps, and I'm not seeing very much trap. I'm seeing a lot of monsters. We're going to activate the, um, the spelling here. Looks like we're going to summon out. So we're going to actually chain the trap card. Um... Not activating the blackjack here is is kind of risky. Or not activating the effect. Letting that resolve here. Summoning out um, the wings. Wings can be able to search for it. And get Ash Blossom saying no to that fountain. I'm going to set four cards. I'm going to activate the trap card here. Being able to summon out a monster. Is is that just a Scarlet Sangu in here? Getting a second one out. It's the next one to be able to activate. Just reading over the card effects. It's going to protect... Or it's going to get sent to Graveyard. Then when sent to Graveyard, it gets you know, returned to the extra deck. And we see Blackjack hitting the Blackjack here. Being able to uh, shuffle all three back. And then we're going to see Blackjack, you know, summoning or er, hitting the Extravagance. We're going to see there can only be one. Not very good. I think they're stuck to one fiend now. We're gonna see extravagance, you know, banishing. Banishing six, to hopefully draw two. Maybe an out to this. And can they draw an out? They're gonna judgment that, you know, down in all their life points here. Gonna activate a runic spell, summoning out the uh, mun in here. With that big booty, she has 2k. You know, being able to stop that, uh, that monster from attacking and gaining the life points in the end phase. You know, making that solemn judgment just, uh, just pretty free. You know, making that solemn judgment, you know, now a, a three. Uh, has throwing 3,000 for cost rather than 4,000. And then passing, you know, making it 2,000, seeming pretty good. And I have a handful of monsters. I don't think they have this. I think it's going to be, uh, we're going to activate a chandelier's effect, discarding the, uh, one of the elaborate monsters to get the trap on the field. But I don't think it's going to be able to do enough or sending the trap actually. Oh yes. Yeah, setting it to the field. You are discarding two cards for a trap. I don't think, and it's a specific trap. I don't think it's quite good. See, so a pass making that uh, soul and judgment only costs 1,000 life points. Pretty nice. Metaverse will activate, you know, putting that fountain on the field. Everyone loves fountain. Here we're going to activate the, uh, you know, milling the, or banishing the top three. Fountain's going to shuffle back the three cards, drawing another three. Then I see Blackjack milling and hitting the tear of the other root. Interesting card. And I see a draw. And now they have four cards in hand. You know, that Fountain Mill. Upstart Goblin gaining the 1,000 life points of your opponent, but drawing a card. Really does nothing when, you know, your whole strategy is about decking them out. Ornic Tip's going to be activating, you know, searching for that exact runic card you want. You see Terror of the Other Roots swapping with, uh, with an Upstart Goblin. Getting that uh, Tiki Boot out of here. But is that going to be enough? And 
for all he knows, there's no, that last card is a Tikaboo. Okay, we're going to mill the Dogmatica Punishment, but I don't think it's going to come in handy anyways. Maybe send uh, Entis and Pop 2. And get rid of that field spell and banishing the top four. Here they're talking about Chandelier. First time I've ever seen a Chandelier on the field, to be honest. Going to get out the, uh, the other woman. Are they twins? Getting out the Stovey. Four monsters on the field in a trap deck. That's kind of wild. You're just asking to be Mystic Mind. Searching for the spell here. Counting how many cards left in deck, you know, showing that, you know, we are getting decked out. That's going to be how the two both games go. Harp Start Goblin gain the 1,000. We don't care about life points. And it looks like they have lots of cards. They have another Judgment in hand. And lots of spells, but they can't, you know, they're going to set one. Set two. And pass during the end phase, gain the 1,000. They're at 9,000 and 10,000 life points. That's insane. Solemn Judgment, gain 1,000, negate a card. Granted, you know, it's not exactly that, but you guys know what I mean. We're going to see a... Going into the... Uh, using the the fusion to go into the uh, Underworld Goddess. An insane card. I, I can't believe they just used all four of their monsters on the field. And it, it's getting... Solemn Judgment is here, you know. Taking the 4,500 life points to negate that summon. The whole board just got wiped. Gonna activate the Labyrinth Field Spell. Getting out the uh, the one that's leaning towards the left or the right. I get Freezing Cursed here, milling the top three or banishing the top three and negating its effects. Entering battle phase, meal to attack for forty-five or attacking, not for forty-five. That'd be insane. I believe it was 18. I'm not too sure. Can't even how many cards are left in deck. We are getting pretty close to time here. Got for the runic tip here, banishing one card from the top of the deck. Asping it, popping it, you know, banishing the top three, top four, my bad. Getting really close here. Activating the effect of the fountain, returning three to draw three. And are we going to be able to, you know, mill out the rest? And draw for turn. And we're going to pass. We're going to draw for turn once again. And here are them with the cards we can activate. We can activate the effects, activate another one, chaining two of them here. Here we're going to banish three. Then banish only single or one. You know, now they have to banish one more card for every time they activate it. You know, I think there's like two cards left in the deck. Gonna activate the flashing fire here. Banishing or summoning out one, you know, banishing one because, you know, summon out a monster. And that's gonna be game. So we see a 2 0. -oh from Thomas here, you know, I guess Runic is just beating the Labyrinth deck. They just have too much and can't out that, you know, that mill. Hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.